Hey, hey hookers, welcome back to Inspired by a Smile. My name is Christy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a very basic but cute pair of earrings with mini granny squares. So if you have your embroidery floss and a two millimeter hook, let's get started. All right, so here's my two millimeter. And uh, I'm just gonna grab the first earring. As you can see, I used three different colors. You can do whatever you'd like. If you don't want to switch colors even, don't do it. But I chose to do three different colors. And for this one, I am going to start with my outside color first. I decided to go reverse. Like I said, these are your earrings, so do what you do. Do just do you, okay? So I'm going to chain four. Main part is just... Uh, get the color you want to start with. I'll say that. So chain four, join it at the end to make a circle. And this is going to be the first color and uh, then you'll be switching. So do a chain and then you're going to do 12 half double crochet into the circle and crochet over the little piece of thread so that you can pull it tight after. Again, you want to do 12 half double crochet into the circle for your first round of color. And while you do that, I would like to thank everybody for watching my videos so far and be uh, coming along with me on my crochet adventure. I do appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, make sure that you do subscribe and turn on notifications on my on my channel because then you'll know when my new tutorials are out um, if you are also wanting to follow me on other platforms I'm all over the place um, all of my social links because I don't want to name them all off I sometimes forget them some of them um, they are all all um, all linked at the top of my YouTube channel and another main place where they all are is Facebook I do post a lot there too um, with updates on tutorials and just some fun stuff, um, educational stuff on, on crochet and everything. So if you would like to follow me in other places too, um, I am everywhere, especially if you need help on a tutorial. I like to be available for people. And then also if you do have a request I like taking tutorial requests. If I can do it and want to do it, I love posting those because you guys have really good ideas most of the time. It's very rare that I say no to a tutorial request unless it's like, unless I'm super busy or whatever, but it's very rare, guys. So if you do have ideas, you can comment on my videos or wherever you can find me <laughs> so we are done that color I'm just gonna go in the first stitch here and I'm gonna do a slip stitch and pull that little piece of yarn tight now just cut enough so that you can change color you're just gonna be tying on the next color here if you're changing colors if you're not just give me a second these would look good in a solid color too. And I mean, if you want to use these for something else other than earrings, they would also be really cool. You could definitely switch hook sizes. I just decided to make them this small. Okay, so now do a chain after you've tied your second color on. This part I left the same. I wanted to make, I, I I've changed it up so that the middle and end color are different, but I left this one in the middle because it's a tie dye. And I don't know, it just looked cool to do the two different reverse, I guess. <clears throat> All right, so in the first stitch, you're gonna do three half double crochet in the same stitch and you're crocheting over the two little pieces of thread so again the first one you want to do three half double crochet and I'll show you what to do 
when we get back to the beginning of the row. It is just a basic granny square. So now you're going to go three stitches over. You want to have clusters of three. That's why we did 12 stitches. So you have three in between each time. So now you're going to do three half double crochet all in the same stitch. And now don't switch or nothing, do a chain. We're making corners, so we're going to be going right back in the same stitch here. So after you do those three half double crochet and a chain, you're going to go right back in the same stitch and do three more half double crochet. And we're going to repeat this all the way to the beginning, which I'm going to keep on for you guys to watch. So three half double crochet again in this corner. If you haven't yet also guys like my video bump it up keep it going so people see my videos it's also appreciated and if you would like to i have paypal if you'd like to do a one-time donation at big or small i don't care if it's a dollar it really helps um it, i don't have that linked anywhere yet um so if you would like to send that just let me know in a message somewhere or on a video and i'll let, let you know my paypal information and if you'd like to check out my patron, there's that too. It's $3 a month to tip me as an artist. Um, it's linked on my YouTube and Facebook if you want to check that out. Okay, so now we're going in the next corner. I skipped three stitches so that I have another three, a cluster of three. I'm still crocheting over the little thread. Um, if you want, you can at, at some point just stop and then just trim it, but make sure that it's tucked in. So we're going to do three half double crochet all in the same stitch again. Then do a chain. And then we're going to go right in the same stitch because we're doing that corner and do three more half double crochet. Oh yes, and also I am still doing a giveaway on my Facebook page if you want to go check it out. It's for a really big penis, a crochet penis, for hitting 5,000 uh, followers on Facebook. So if you would like to go and participate in that one, that is still going on right now. And it is pinned at the top of my Facebook page. All right, so now... Moving forward, we're on to the next corner. Skip three stitches so you have another cluster. And do three half double crochet in the same stitch. I've been wanting to make little mini granny squares for a while and then I just made a pair of earrings the other day and decided that they needed to be earrings as well if I was going to make it, so... I whipped it up quick. These were really cute and quick and quick to make. So again, I did a chain and then same stitch, guys. You're going to do another three half double crochet to form that corner. This is actually how I make a bigger granny square as well, just with a bigger hook. I usually use a four millimeter for my regular size granny squares. just so you know. I love half double crochet. It really helps. Um, it makes a nice granny square. Okay, so now you're going into the beginning where you already have three half double crochet. So you're just, you just have to do three half double crochet right now to make it six in total. And you have to do a chain when we're done right now. So do those three half double crochet and then do this chain awesome and then you're going to go into the top of the first stitch here of that cluster and you're going to do a slip stitch to fasten off awesome so far guys 
So now I am switching colors again. So I just left enough to tie on the next color, which I'm grabbing my purple. I really do appreciate everybody watching my videos and getting me where I am. It's super awesome, guys. I love making videos for you. And again, if you aren't following me on all my platforms to make sure that you're up to date or need help, make sure that you are. And do make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and notifications on. It does help. Because I do post promo videos as well. Okay, so chain. And then now we're going to do... I'm just going to show you the first little bit here so that I'm not staying on camera too long doing this part because he's basically got it now so we're gonna start in this corner I'll come back before like we end the rows though so that you just don't forget what to do here there um, so do three half double crochet in the first stitch here this isn't too much different we just have an extra stitch now because it's another we're adding a row and you could even make these bigger if you want but I chose I chose just to stay with three rows to keep it cute and small okay so that first one is done you have three half double crochet in the first stitch now you're going over because we now have a another cluster to do before we hit the next corner so three half double crochet right in there Go right into the hole. Make sure you're crocheting over the little pieces of yarn again so that they're nice and tucked in and hidden. And now we're going into the first corner. And you're going to be repeating this all the way around until you get back to the beginning again. So three half double crochet into that corner. And don't forget to go like the video guys leave a comment even to say hello it all helps keeps up the videos and soon enough YouTube will pay me for my nonsense I'm really excited for that okay so the, the three and then chain and then another three in the same corner awesome And again, if you'd like to check out my pa my Patreon, it's $3 a month to tip me as an artist. Or you can do a one-time donation on PayPal. Um, just let me know if you want to do that, and I'll give you the info for that. So just keep going till you get back to the beginning of the row, guys, and I'll show you what to do. So you're just going to keep going all the way around, same pattern. All right. So we're at the beginning here. Again, um... This is already part way done, so go into the beginning part and do three half double crochet where there's already the cluster of three. And then you're going to do a chain. And then you're going to finish off in the first stitch at the top of it with a slip stitch. Now just leave, you want to leave a long enough piece of thread so that you can sew your earring hook on. I did also put a bead on the top. You don't need beads if you don't have them or don't want to use them. They're cute with or without beads. Um, but I'll turn it, but anyways, it, you just do need to leave that long enough so you can put that on. That's the important part. <laughs> Awesome. I do love how this one turned out too. I like my other one, but I love that I decided to switch it up and reverse the colors. It looks so awesome the other way as well. With the purple on the outside. 
and the white just pops in the middle. Okay, so I've got the needle on and this is my bead that I'm using. If you're not using beads, just give me a second. I'm going to get that earring hook on. So that just goes right on there. I wanted it to dangle like this. If you actually want them to dangle like looking like a square, you just have to slide the thread over a little, weave it in, and then get to the middle of the side of the square if you want to do that. But I liked how they hang like this. So the hook is in. Make sure that your earring is going to face forward, okay? Because you don't want your granny square going uh, facing the wrong way. It's one thing with earrings, you always have to make sure that's facing the right way. And I'm going right back through the bead. If you're using a bead, you can do that so that it's actually, um, it's grasping onto the hook. Mine's grasping a little bit too much and I just, I am going to have to take it off the needle and fix it. because normally you're just able to pull the thread down and it'll tighten, but it's being silly. <laughs> so if you do run into any problems like that, guys, just take a breath or whatever, and then just swear at it if you need to and to untake, just take it off. <laughs> See, it's stuck on here for some reason. Alright, so just gonna get that back on the needle and then we can get this finished up and move on with our day. So again, make sure that this is facing the right way in the square and, and the thread is all lined up. And I'm going right back through the hole of the bead. Alternatively, if you're not using a bead, you'll just be going right into the square after, but this is what happens if you're using a bead. <laughs> awesome. So now you just want to make sure that this is fastened off so you can tuck in the thread in the back of the earring and it won't be noticeable. I'm going to go through the purple. Get out of there. <laughs> of course. And again, make sure everything is lined up before you finish off. You really don't want a backwards earring. I'm just adjusting the thread around the earring hook right here before finishing this off too. There we go. Almost ready to continue. And again guys, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. So make sure that you do subscribe and turn on notifications on my YouTube channel. Make sure that you are aware of when I post new videos, okay? And like I said, make sure you're following me wherever you are because I made sure that I'm available to everybody. Whether it's a main platform I use or not, I check them all because you may send me pictures of your work that you've done or just or questions about my tutorials and I like to 
be available to everybody for that. Because you never know. I get messages on ones that I barely use, so I make sure that, uh, I make sure to check them. Not that I don't use them, I just don't upload to some as more as much as I do others. Is what I meant by that. So now we got to get rid of these little unwanted threads. Also make sure if you want to enter my giveaway before I forget, go to my Facebook page. It's pinned at the top. That's important. And if you would like to check out Patron, please do. It's linked on Facebook and YouTube. And one-time uh, donations on PayPal, ask me for my PayPal. It's all appreciated, guys. Whether you don't donate or not, just watching my videos really does help. There we go. We got some awesome little cute granny square earrings. Awesome job, guys. Yay!